This is Vinny Allegro, Applications Engineer, and today I'm going to tell you about the Brecoflex ATS-15 timing belt. ATS-15 timing belts are the ideal solution to bridge the gap between AT-10 and an AT-20 belt. If you have an application that requires more strength than AT-10, with smoother engagement and more teeth and mesh than an AT-20, then ATS-15 is a good alternative. In the open-ended construction, it boasts a significantly higher allowable tensile load than an AT-20 belt of the same width. The S in ATS-15 stands for strength and stiffness, which comes from the 1.6 millimeter steel cord tension members. These are the same cords found in our ATL-20, but in a 15 millimeter tooth pitch. Since it's a smaller pitch than AT-20, you get more engagement and less polygonal effect because there are more teeth and mesh. If you have a system that uses a pulley diameter less than six inches and you plan to use an AT-20, you are far better off with an ATS-15, which will give you a greater tooth shear strength for pulleys less than six inches in diameter. The chart shown here demonstrates the maximum tensile strength in kilonewtons for open-ended M-series and truly endless BFX versions of our belts. In the open-ended version, a 150 millimeter wide ATS-15 has a maximum tensile load of 40.6 kilonewtons or 9,120 pounds force, which is higher than any other standard polyurethane timing belt. In the truly endless version, the maximum belt width of ATS-15 is 100 millimeters. The 100 millimeter wide ATS-15 is at 26.4 kilonewtons, whereas the 100 millimeter wide AT-20 is only 21.6 kilonewtons. If space is a major consideration, then the ATS-15 over the AT-20 is a great option. The ATS-15 can be made with nylon tooth covering in both M and BFX versions and is available in double-sided for BFX only. You also have the option for stainless steel cords, but that will affect the tensile strength and require a larger pulley diameter. For all of the raw data showing maximum allowable tensile load for each available width and cord material, as well as the minimum number of pulley teeth and minimum pulley diameter, please download the ATS-15 Engineering Bulletin number 102. You can find the link in the description section below. If you need assistance with sizing and calculations, please contact Applications Engineering at the number and email shown at the end of this video. Thanks for watching.